Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with more daily nuzlocking as we continue to train up our boy Nightmare here to get ready for the Elite Four. Now, I want to say, I think I'm going to get him to... Hmm, I want to get him around 40. But the answer is... I don't know, maybe a little bit higher. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, because I, I know there's... Uh, Pokemon that he can beat inside there that will get him stronger. So maybe what will happen is that when I bring him in there, like, hmm, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we go inside. There's certain Pokemon that I'm almost positive that, like, they're gonna get a lot of screen time inside the Elite Four, and others that I'm just not 100% sure if they will. You know, just to be sure. I want to get as much Pokemon strong as I can. So let's get back into it, huh? Hmm. And of course, like every other episode I do, well, every five minutes the dog is back, barking, at the random drug dealers and or cops outside the house. Who knows? Hello, Onyx. Can you give me the XP that I crave? Remember, Wookie, avoid Gravelers. <laughs> Gravelers is the killer here. Nightmare used confusion. Good job, Nightmare. Alright. I'm trying to figure out what to start next. I'm still making my way through Witcher 3, and so that makes it so that, um, the only time I'm ever watching anything is with- is when I'm grinding my gacha games, and sometimes I- I play Witcher 3 and also grind my gotchas, just not all of them. Games that require me to be PvP focused, aka only Bounty Rush, because no one plays Legends PvP that is right in the head. Sorry to everyone out there who plays it, because <laughs> it feels like- I watch your videos, it just feels like you guys are really fighting up a crazy ass mountain, man. Or at least that's what it feels like to me. Um, so the only gotchas I 100% pay attention to are... Um, is Bounty Rush and Dragalia depending on the hard fight. Uh, otherwise, I could just auto through most of it and I'll be perfectly fine. For Fate, I, make, I lay it on my belly and I occasionally look down and I, I have a good grasp on how a situation is going by looking at it. And it's an RPG, so there's no real rush. The only rush is getting it done fast. And for Global, if it's um, English speaking, then I don't... Um, did I read everything, of course, but uh, it's, a different, it's a different situation to be in. In JP, I skip all stories. Who cares? I don't understand a word they're saying. Why pretend? Look at pretty pictures? I don't have time to look at pretty pictures. If I had time to look at pretty pictures, I would be reading more manga. Oh, speaking of... Um, let me talk a little bit about the manga, actually. So here's the fun thing. A lot of my manga are actually either coming close to an end, or are actually ending, or have ended. Um, one of them was Demon Slayer. Uh, the manga ended a little bit ago. I won't say any spoilers, of course, but it's over. It's done. Um, I liked, I liked Demon Slayer. I still do. Um, did I have any issues with the final arc? No, not really. Um, I thought it was all perfectly fine. I don't know what people were expecting, I guess. Um, but I always feel like when I'm reading manga, I have a different mindset from a lot of other people. At least that's what it feels like most of the time. Especially when it comes to jump manga. I just read and then... Um, especially when they update weekly. That's This is why actually I really don't like reading weekly stories and I actually usually like to leave a little bit of like catch up. Is that once you caught up, all you're doing is waiting. Waiting for the next chapter, and that can get kind of dull. Ooh, that was bad. I guess I gotta go heal up Nightmare. Um, for Demon Slayer, for example, um, a lot of the pace of Demon Slayer is crazy fast pace. At least in manga form. The, the manga version of, um, of Demon Slayer don't waste no time. It just like literally goes boom, boom, boom to its own detriment, I feel like. Uh, most some of the time there's like i know I, it's the one thing i always think about when i think of demon slayer there was one extremely important like plot point that um 
she saved for the end joke. And she was like, oh, by the way, they got out of this situation. Uh, I forget. I ran out of time to draw it. And I was like, what? What do you mean you ran? Not ran out of time, but she's more like, I didn't have... I couldn't pace it to keep it the way it's going. So I was like, damn, girl. Couldn't have paced it a little bit better. But it's fine. The anime usually picks up. If you want something with a little bit more of a uh, deliberate pace, I wouldn't say slow. It's a very deliberate pace. I would go with the anime. Uh, I like the anime of Demon Slayer a whole bunch, too. I like the, the music, the sounds, the voice. Everyone but Zenetsu. Uh, Demon Slayer has ended. I still kind of just feel... Bleh about Zenetsu in general, but... I've never been a fan of that character type. The the one step away from Zenetsu and Mineta from My Hero is Zenetsu's pretty. So I feel like he gets away with a lot of his bullshit more than Mineta does. And Mineta usually gets away with some amount of it just because he's a joke character. Um, not to say his abilities are a joke, I just mean literally it, I've never seen him be taken seriously in any anything. Anything at all. Um, but yeah, so Zenetsu ends up being the person I care least about in general in Demon Slayer. Um, even with his backstory and everything. I just n never did anything for me, personally. Um, I usually I end up liking everyone else, though. It's a, occasionally a demon or two where I'm just like, oh, you suck, buddy. But other than that, perfectly fine. But yeah, Demon Slayer's done. And then the other manga that's ending is Yuna, uh, Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs, which I got into because of War Collection. And Yuna's ending in a way that's like literally wrapping up every single thing. Like, you finally learn what Yuna's unfinished business is. Which I feel like, now that they've revealed what it is, it's like, oh, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> so now I'm waiting for the next chapter to be like, okay, let's see where this manga is going, because... Mm, this is... I don't. I feel like there's no way to actually solve the... the um, it's like, okay, yeah, she was waiting for this specific moment, but... I don't think that means that now that the mo- I don't think the moment's done, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm trying to not spoil what happens in this manga that has a lot of titty stuff in it, but... I don't know, it's a very good titty stuff. Very heartfelt, loving. Loving boobs. I love Yuna. It's a really good manga. It's a shame no one will give it a... Not as many people check it out just because they don't like harem stuff. Which I've never really had a problem with um, any harm things, ever. <laughs> um, for example, I always loved uh, Negama. Uh, which I've always gotten I have to actually finish. I think I ended up getting, I have I think around 30 books of Negama because I bought them all from the Borders bookstore. And then the Borders closed and I was like, oh well I can't continue if I'm not reading it um, by book. Um, and before that, I had all the chapters of Love Hina, um, which was the creator of Negama's previous manga work, uh, which I still have. They're in storage. I really hope they're being taken care of. Um, but yeah, I have to... I love um, horror mangas. I love fan service manga. I, I really never had an issue with it. I read an Undead Unluck, and some people find some of the fan y stuff weird, but I don't really find a problem with it. It's fine for the most part. Uh, it's funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> most people are creeped out by it, but yeah, what can you do about it? I end up being perfectly fine with me. Uh, of course, there's deeper things you can pull from all that stuff. I just feel like it's not really the kind of manga you go deep thinking about. You know, it's always something that's going to be... And obviously, if you have your limits of stuff, then, you know, if it crosses your limits, then, you know, it don't, you don't have to put up with it. Um, I know Chase has that problem with uh, Air Gear, uh, getting people to get into Air Gear, because apparently the beginning of Air Gear has always been a real turnoff for a lot of people. <laughs> um, 
Funny enough, I have a coworker who really loves Air Gear. She, uh, she's the only other person besides Chase I've ever heard talking about Air Gear. <laughs> so, uh, and Air Gear also used to do have ads in the back. I think Air Gear does have ads at the back of my Love Hina books. I want to say they were maybe made by the same publisher, but I can't 100% know that's for sure. I've been wanting to reread Love Hina for a while now. I really do like it a whole bunch. You know, it's a fun little romance harem thing. Funny thing is, is that I really like, um... I think I do end up liking some romance mangas, but I really care more of their harem style than I care of their... by the books, um... romance for whatever reason. I can't really explain why, but I end up caring more for characters if there's some form of... Uh, etchy stuff inside of it. Don't... I don't really want to question it. It's just the way I am. Um, but yeah, what other manga? Oh, I'm caught up on One Piece already. No spoilers for One Piece because I know someone who I think watches this and is not caught up, so I won't, I won't mention much. Uh, very interested in the path Wano is taking. We'll see how it goes and however many more chapters there are of Wano. They said it's the last we're in like basically part three of the arc so that should be the end of it but you never know with one piece sometimes man their arcs take a real long ass time to get finished real long ass time that was another manga that i really liked reading and then i got to the end and i was like damn it and i can't i keep up with it i just can't um hold myself back with one piece i just read every new chapter of one piece the second it comes out well, usually to the Shadow Jump app. I'm not looking for it in, like, weird places. Which really sucks if you use Twitter, because everyone... And by everyone, I mean Valley, who watches... Who uh, reads One Piece is immediately like, Oi, here's all the things in it. And I'm like, oh, Valley, why? Valley, why are you spoiling me on this? Something that's literally... If I wait a day, I'll actually have it in English and I'll know what the fuck is going on. But no, he quote tweets some dude who's just like... Oh man, this happens, and I'm like, son of a bitch. This isn't even a good translation. Meditate. Hmm. Mm, well, let's see what's in the old arsenal. Not really. If I could get rid of Flash, I would, but. That's fine. And that's level 40 for old Nightmare here, so I think that's the end of his training for now. So begins. Next episode begins the actual final training arc as Nux gets another training arc. One more again. Let's give him the old EXP for one old time share. And let's give Nightmare back his pink bow. You look nice in it, bro. Did I give it to Valley by accident? Yes, I did. <laughs> Item take. Sorry, Valley. You don't need that pink bow. You need that pink bow, though. Okay. Let's go save up. Heal up. And then we'll get back to Nux's training. And I think once Nux hits 40, I'm gonna say screw it and we're gonna go inside the Elite Four. Uh, I might actually take out Valley. Uh, this is what I'm gonna call a safety measure. Someone in that box coming up here and we'll talk about it next episode someone here might have to be a sacrificial lamb in case things go bad in order for the betterment of the team someone here needs to be it might be babar you know what no who would be good you know what Maybe it's time for Fensa to finally take one for the team? No. 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 It's gonna have to be Babar. He's the most likely to survive more than one hit if something bad happens to him. So there we go. Babar has joined the team as someone to potentially take one hit of damage, or two, depending on the situation, if things go bad. 
Let's see if it gets to that dough. But until next time, everyone, hope you like this episode. It's not time for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. You have a good day now. Bye-bye.